It's finally here. Three years after successful launch in North America and 24 months after introduction in Europe, the Mazda CX-7 gets its first major facelift. This latest version of the attractive crossover, which has thrilled 190,000 owners and won more than 15 awards globally, demonstrates more than ever what the Mazda brand stands for. The CX-7 is the best example of a crossover. A sporty design, a combination of driving fun and environmental compatibility, with great price for value. Its predecessor stood out for its design, and the facelifted CX-7 takes this sporty styling even further. Some improvements in detailing make it look, from any angle, even classier and dynamic and more expressive. From the front, the CX-7 is immediately recognisable as a Mazda, with a large and expressive five-point grille. New for the high-grade version are the front fog light bezels and the lower grille's chrome moulding. A chrome-plated garnish runs along the door sills, which sharpens the sporty character of the crossover. Still the same as the CX-7 silhouette that includes an extremely flat windshield angle. Nineteen-inch alloy wheels are optional for those who want it even classier. And Mazda designers gave a new touch to the back as well. Chrome moulding decorates the boot lid and the roof spoiler is now much larger. But there aren't just exterior updates, there's big technical news underneath as well, and that can best be explained by the responsible engineer. Hello, my name is Masatsugu Sakimoto, and I'm assistant manager responsible for powertrains and product evaluation at Mazda's R&D center in Oba Uzel. My tasks include analyzing and tuning powertrain components. Today, it's my pleasure to introduce the facelift of the CX-7. For the CX-7 facelift, our European product evaluation team worked hard to ensure it meets the tastes of European customers. Our new 2.2-litre engine has been specially adapted for the CX-7 with a newly developed variable geometry turbocharger and special intercooler to ensure it's quick and responsive, while environmentally friendly. Let's begin with a 2.2-litre diesel engine specially developed by Mazda for Europe. This efficient common rail has state-of-the-art technology that improves environmental performance. It comes with electro-hydraulic power-assisted steering that always delivers the right amount of assist and contributes to lowering fuel consumption. The CX-7 keeps its sporty character with this diesel engine. Its common rail technology realizes a robust 173 PS and an impressive 400 newton meter of torque at only 2,000 RPM. This accelerates the crossover from 0 to 100 in 11.3 seconds and means a top speed of 200 kilometers per hour. It's clean running too, with a Mazda-developed diesel particulate filter and additional exhaust gas emission technology in form of a selective catalytic reduction system. This effectively eliminates harmful nitrogen oxides by using AdBlue, so the diesel easily meets Euro Stage 5. When developing the SCR system for the CX-7, we had two major challenges. First, we needed to ensure top body rigidity, while the underbody had to be redesigned to install the system. The second challenge was to reduce the size of the system. As a result, we equipped the CX-7 with a SCR system without sacrificing luggage space, cabin space or dynamic performance. At the pump, the CX-7 is frugal too, needing just 7.5 litres per 100 kilometres. The CX-7 facelift 
continues to offer the well-known petrol direct injection 2.3 liter DZ turbo with 260 PS. Both versions deliver high levels of driving fun, together with high functionality and interior space. The CX-7 is a crossover that is especially sporty and dynamic, not only in terms of design, but also in terms of driving dynamics. For the facelift, we improved torsional rigidity by 5%, in combination with new dampers for better handling stability and reduced road noise. So the 2009 CX-7 offers even more driving fun. Still on board is the Active Torque Split all-wheel drive system that optimally distributes torque, up to 50% to the front and rear axles, to all four wheels depending on driving surface for optimized traction. The CX-7 has improved its inner values as well. Awaiting passengers in the subtly updated cabin is a successful mix of sporty feel and luxurious comfort. Depending on grade, metallic look or piano black detailing and new armrests in the front and back doors underscore the high-quality interior ambience. Still the same is the car's sporty seating position and huge amounts of space for occupants. The driver, on the other hand, enjoys special comfort features. For example, many vehicle functions, like the audio system, can be controlled directly from the new steering wheel and most markets get the new compact navigation system in the dashboard with built-in rear-view camera. New for the high-grade version in most countries is a wireless Bluetooth system that connects a telephone with the car's audio system. But not only that, it also lets you play complete music collections via wireless Bluetooth connectivity. Active safety has always had top priority with the CX-7. Through specific body reinforcements, torsional stiffness could be further improved. This ensures high driving stability and impressive overall safety. Most countries also have two other improvements that make Mazda's SUV one of the segment's safest models. First is rear vehicle monitoring that warns the driver if a car is approaching on the left or right rear for safely changing lanes. Also new is an emergency stop system that warns cars behind with flashing hazard lights when braking hard. With all these large and small improvements, and due to its new diesel engine, the CX-7 is now more competitive and a perfect fit to the European market.